Hey, this is Zach Gray. We're working with some Ellen Chrome lighting and we're down in the city looking for some amazing places to do some great bridal photos. One of the hardest things you have to deal with when shooting in the city is trying to find some open area that you can actually photograph some of the background. And then the biggest key is dealing with the contrast and dealing with the extreme lighting conditions that you can find. You can have direct sun hitting a building and then shadow on the other side. Direct sun hitting your subject and then deep dark shadows on the other side. So using off camera flash to at least paint beautiful light on our subject is something we wanted to do for this particular setup. So we tried to elevate our bride as high as we could get her, so we put her up on these little steps that they had. We framed it a little bit low so we could just see the city skyline in the background and we wouldn't see all the noise down below. And then we made sure to expose for the highlights in the background. That way I can get detail in whatever was bright in the background and then I have a better chance of opening up the shadows in post-production so I can see the detail in the shadow parts of the buildings. One of the ways that I do that is I actually keep my histogram on, my RGB histogram, my red, green, and blue, and I'm always looking at the blue channel. If there's detail in the blue channel, meaning it's not pushed all the way to one side and shooting up the histogram wall like this, then I know I've got enough detail that I can bring some of that back in post-production. So using your histogram and keeping it on all the time is gonna be very helpful in you determining whether or not you got a usable, correct exposure or an exposure that's gonna to be too dramatic or too contrasty. I turned to my right and just saw behind our subject, there was this little sliver of light bouncing off these beautiful blue windows and it was real even and I love like a simple even background with some dramatic lighting on it. The problem was, how do we expose for it and how do we get that to be just in our shot? So first thing I knew is I needed a long lens. The longer the lens I use, the larger the background's gonna appear, it's gonna draw it in closer to us. So I put on my 85 millimeter lens, which drew in the background and allowed me to frame it up so I could just see that blue in the background. Next, I realized the light that was hitting the building was light in the shade, and we were standing out in direct sunlight, which means if I expose for that background so I can see it, my subject was gonna be way overexposed. So luckily, without having an assistant this day, which I highly recommend getting an assistant, but if I didn't have an assistant today, the shot would have been impossible. So what we did was we put some diffusion up so we could diffuse a little bit of that light on my subject to tone down the brightness. Then we added flash to compensate for the difference. Once I had that exposure on my subject correct, I could then do something really simple. Just slow down my shutter speed until that background got bright enough so I could see it. That's all I did. Normally I'd be at like 160th of a second on my shutter speed shooting off camera flash on manual like this. But in this case, I slowed it down to a 60th of a second to open up that background so you could see it. The final image turned out really cool. At first I wasn't sure if it was gonna turn out at all, but it turned out really cool and I'm really, really happy with the results. And that's how we did the shot. So we put the flash off to camera right for most of the shots, cranked it up so that we were overexposing the ambient light by just a little bit, and diffused some of that light on her so that light wouldn't look speckled or highlighted on her dress or on her face. And then we photographed the images. They turned out really, really cool. Check them out below. Let me know which one's your favorite. And subscribe to learn more.